Another match day filled with storylines this past weekend, so let's jump right into it with 90 Min's 92nd MLS Report. We start on a serious note with the New York Red Bulls match for the San Jose Earthquakes. According to reports that have now been confirmed by the team and player, in the midst of a scuffle around the referee, Red Bulls forward Dante Van Zier issued a racist remark towards a San Jose Earthquakes player, leading to a 20-minute delay on the pitch. Despite the remarks, though, Van Zier was not subbed off until late in the game, one which the Red Bulls tied in the 17th minute of added time for a 1-1 draw. Van Zier, head coach Jared Struber, and the team would all issue apologies for their actions and the events that occurred. No matter the case, this is of course never acceptable and is an unfortunate occurrence in league that we, and I'm sure many others, hope never to see again. Moving to more positive news though, Chicharito returned to the pitch this weekend. The LA Galaxy forward made his first appearance of the season after an extended break due to injury, subbing on in the 55th minute of a 1-0 game versus the Dynamo. The Mexican star didn't have much of an impact in his return as the Galaxy slide continued with a 3-0 loss to Houston, but many Galaxy fans are hoping he is the spark they need after a difficult start to the season. And right before El Trafico nonetheless. And speaking of El Trafico, LAFC seems to have solved their Chicho Rango problem. After their star forward left for Pachuca, there were many questions surrounding where the LAFC goals would come from. Well, Dennis Buanga seems to answer those questions in emphatic fashion every week. This time around in a match versus Austin FC, the Gabon International notched his second hat-trick of the season in all competitions in unreal fashion with three spectacular goals. He now sits second in the MLS Golden Boot Race with six goals and has 11 in all competitions. And that's all we got. As always, make sure to leave your top storyline in the comments and make sure to check out all of our content on YouTube and all our social channels for more on the past week in the MLS.